Hi, I'm Mike McNamara with the McNamaraReport.com. And by now, you've probably seen enough specs and claims for the new Nikon D600 HDSLR. So let's take a closer look at the photo and video samples captured by the camera to see how it performs in the real world, starting with these images of a large praying mantis. As you can see, the D600 nails the focusing and exposure on these samples, and even at full zoom and with an f4.5 aperture, the large full-frame sensor allows for depth of field separation between the insect and the background. But sometimes a still photo of a still subject still doesn't give you the whole story. So I switched to 1080p HD video recording so you can see how this insect can remain incredibly still to lure its prey closer and then reach out suddenly with its deadly arms. Now the D600 allows you to adjust exposure while recording video or to change the shutter speed. But unfortunately even in manual mode you can't adjust the aperture while recording. And in addition, you have to use the bright 3.2 inch LCD monitor on the back to compose your shots. After shooting, you can trim video files or convert raw photos into JPEGs. And Nikon also supplies basic movie editing software program that allows you to trim, add transitions, and insert still photos to your movies. However, you'll probably want a higher end video editor such as Apple's Final Cut Pro X in order to adjust colors, output size, and other parameters. On the other hand, the supplied View NX2 software gives you a decent amount of control for converting raw files into 16-bit TIFF, including sliders for sharpness, picture settings, white balance, and contrast. And even at its default settings, the results are about 15% sharper than you'll get from fine quality JPEGs. Of course, Nikon's optional Capture NX2 software turns raw conversion into an art form, and I recommend it for serious photographers. I also recommend a visit to the dxomark.com site for a comprehensive comparison of the D600's raw image quality. This site ranks the D600's overall image quality at just below that of the higher megapixel Nikon D800, and well above that of the Canon EOS 5D Mark III, although data had yet to be posted on the new full-frame Canon EOS 6D, a more competitive camera. As you'll see in the charts found there, the Nikon D600 has extremely high signal-to-noise ratio at lower ISO settings and low noise levels even at high ISOs, a benefit no doubt of its full-frame sensor. As you increase ISO up to the camera's limit of ISO 25600, noise and tonal range decrease, but even at ISO 6400, color accuracy and overall image quality remains extremely high. Of course, the quality of the lens and AF system will also affect image quality, so stay tuned for my next video showing how well the D600's AF system tracks moving subjects, or click on any of the four boxes here for further info on this camera. And thanks for watching.